factors to this, but uh, we were also talking about gas prices. At least those are going down. Yeah. That's something that oh, we're looking forward it's to. It's good Hopefully. to see some things start moving in the right direction. We'll have yeah. to see if the longevity of it proves to be beneficial. But there, There's a gas station near where I live. I won't give a location, <laughs> but it's down to like 322 or something. All right, you just tell me after the show. Yes, after the show, I'll reveal right. that secret answer. <laughs> Uh, the weather not a secret for anyone though because if you were outside today you saw a little bit of a dip in temps, a little bit of a dip in humidity. Is that going to continue? Yes, it is. And uh, despite temperatures going up, humidity should creep down, which will make things feel not as oppressive. We'll take you uh, outside to Fayetteville right now. There's Old Main, seen here doing its best Halloween Haunted Mansion impersonation, where in, in Fayetteville today we got up to 92 degrees, which was two degrees above average, but well shy of the record of 101 set back in 2006. Meanwhile, in Fort Smith, look at all the stars you can see because of those crystal clear skies uh, tonight. That drier air aids in those clear skies. 99 today, getting close to 100 degrees, four degrees above the average of 95. And temperatures are going to continue on this upward trend in northwest Arkansas. You can see here on Thursday, we start in the upper 80s. And then by the time we get to Monday, when many of you are headed back to school, mid 90s, it will feel warm, but overnight lows won't be too bad. In the River Valley, about the same thing, flirting with 100, not just on Monday, but most likely Tuesday. It would not surprise me if some uh, locations in the River Valley did creep at or just above the century mark. Now, right now in your neighborhood across Northwest Arkansas, upper 70s, a few lower 80s hanging on. It looks like Springdale is one of the warmer spots as it is Elkin still in the 80s. Widespread mid 80s still in the River Valley at this hour, but temperatures will continue to cool off and they'll feel better because you can see all of this drier air pushing its way into our area, into Northwest Arkansas, into the River Valley, and that will make it feel so much more comfortable because we are not going to see much in the way of cloud cover except tomorrow morning where we could see some patchy fog in spots. Besides that, as you can see hour by hour, there is not a lot here. Uh, just some light winds, clear skies, lots of sunshine. It won't be until Friday morning, uh, late Thursday night and early Friday morning when we start to roll in some high clouds into the area. Upper 60s, lower 70s tonight, really not a, that bad of a sleeping night. And we'll rebound again, 80s and 90s tomorrow, but again, Humidity will be down, so it won't feel as oppressive. And the extended forecast, a great weekend on tap, both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures will be warm, though, and it'll be a warm day headed back to school for the little ones. Uh, make sure that they've got some water as they go out for recess. You don't want them getting, you know, overwhelmed by the heat. And then a strong cold front will blast through here middle of next week and really slap our temperatures down. Uh, River Valley, about the same thing Saturday and Sunday look great. 99 as we head back to school on Monday, still warm on Tuesday, and then really we get uh, it starts to cool off, guys, as we get toward the middle part of next week.